So here's how you find the p-value, probability value, area underneath the curve value of a not equal to alternative hypothesis. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use this test question. Here it is, probability of a not equal to problem. So here's our null. The, the mean is equal to some number. This doesn't have to be zero. And the alternative is that it is not equal to that number. So, and we have a test statistic of 1.55. So we're going to go ahead and try to calculate the p-value of a not equal to. Okay, that, we have to talk about this for a second. So if your alternative hypothesis is a greater than, we're looking at to the little area to the right. If it's a less than, it's to the left. And the, the one in the middle here, the ones to the left, those are all the p-values in the table. Okay. And if we're looking for a greater than probability value, we treat it like a less than value. We, we go ahead and look up the value of whatever the test statistic is, and we subtract it from 1. Again, that's the greater than rule. And then here's the one that we're going to be doing right now. It could be less than or greater than. Okay, so that's the not equal to power. So let's go ahead and build this one at a time. So which one of these models are we using? This one? And this is how you calculate the p-values from a not equal to model. You start with the z-score. You look up the z-score of 1.55. And then you're going to subtract that from 1 because it's a greater than. And then you multiply by 2. That's the steps. I'll say it again. You find the z-score. You look it up in the z-table. Subtract it from 1 because it's a greater than. And then multiply it by 2. Looking up the p-value of 1.55, here is our z-score table. Remember, these areas, these numbers here are the areas under the curve. The numbers in the first column here are the z-scores. So we're looking for 1.55. There's 1.5, and then there's the 505 on the end. So it looks like that number. And remember, that's going to be a greater than, so we've got to subtract that from 1. So that gives us 0 0.0606, and that's in the little right-hand corner, and we've got to multiply that by 2 because it's symmetrical. Okay, And so we get a grand total of 0 0.1212, and that is the answer. That's the probability of getting a z-score of greater than 1.55. Let's make sure this is one of the answer options. Hold on. And yes, it is. There it is right there. So that's the answer. I hope this helps. MGZ out.